New damn bit. Me nice, skinly 19. Welcome back to Let's Play Vagrant Story, where we activated this uh, floaty platform by defeating bosses. But we're not actually going to go up there yet, because we're actually going to see if I can jump across here. Whoop. And see what's behind door number, like, four, I guess. In the Grand Cathedral. Is that another boss? I'm guessing it is. Yep. Yeah, I think this whole cathedral is just bosses. Ooh. It's the Ice Boy. Is it Shiva? Maybe not. I forget what they call the water one. But there is one thing I want to try right now. Which is... Because this is the Ice Guy. I think he's very weak to fire. So I'm going to enlighten myself right now. And I'm going to smack him with a bunch of... Uh, with a bunch of flame sphere level threes and see how that does, but I'm gonna also buff myself. I wonder if I can lower his intelligence and see if that works. See if that's a better option, you know? That's less risky. Because he uses magic, so. Psycho Drain. No, I can't do that. Can I degenerate you? No, I can degenerate you. But I have a sneaking suspicion that it's it's not gonna do anything. Like, I think these these bosses just... Yeah, I could blast. I think these bosses just will hurt no matter what. Hey. Hey, have that back. Okay, um... So we're gonna give myself mana, I think. So... 25, 50, why not? Because I just, I want to see if, like, our, if me doing this would even help. Or is, like, Raging Ache the ultimate strategy for this game? Which, because if it is, that's kind of silly, in my opinion. But, alright, Flame Sphere. Level 3. I think level 4 is the highest it goes, so. Well, we're getting all of him. No, I do, like, zero damage to him. Eh, whatever. It looks cool, yeah. <laughs> I did like 12 damage. Yeah. That big showy explosion and it's like four. That's on like the same level as uh, like Grandia levels of like flashiness. Grandia has a big thing where it's like, oh, you, you hit me and it's this giant attack and you did like eight damage. I was like, oh, okay. to generate a little bit of MP. Well, at least hitting him seems to be... No, I say that. I was going to say easier than hitting Ifrit, but... I've missed less, so... Alright, let's go... Let's go for Heracles. Because he's degenerated, so... I think it's just because he's a phantom, and I they're all phantoms, technically. And I don't think my weapon is particularly good against phantoms, but... I don't, didn't need to do the mana regen one, because I don't need it anymore. We just need to lay in some damage to him, which we're not apparently going to. Do it, hit me. Stop trying to hit me and hit me! Oh, I was slightly too fast again. Alright, we're gonna go hell for leather this time. And then we're gonna heal next time. Uh, because I'm probably gonna die. This probably won't help, but you know. I actually can't believe that the first hit landed. With like 86 risk? That's pretty funny.
Yeah, knew that was coming. Uh oh. No, oh, I was slow. Yeah, I think I'm dead. I am very dead. Ow. <laughs> yeah, that was like that was like 350 damage right there. Oof. Oof. Yeah. Let's try that again. Well, we know we know now that uh, you know magic sucks. Maybe I should equip phantom gems onto my sword, you know, so that I do more damage against phantoms, because that would probably help. Uh, let's 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 try that before I even run in there. Uh, all right. And then let's look at what did uh, that dagger have? What was it? Yeah, rib splitter. What's rib splitter? Oh, nothing. Ooh, can I have three gems though? Ooh. Uh, increase the success rate of non-magical attacks by 20 percent. Magic by 20 percent. Hmm. How am I against? So I'm light. Yeah, see, Phantom's only 10. Do I have anything that makes me really good against Phantoms? Not really. Um, I do have a Salamander Ruby that could make it fire, I suppose. Not like a really powerful one for fire? Maybe not. I don't know. There we go, it's fire now, yeah. Cause then now I don't I can buff myself with my strength and not worry about Like upping my fire ember? I don't know. I don't even think it matters, to be honest. I think at like this late stage of the game. It doesn't really matter. All the bosses, especially the first time through this game, I have never once in like the 20 times I've played through this game, I have never once had it the first time that I play through that these bosses take any more than like one damage from you. You have to use like your Raging Ache strategy, or that's how I beat them. Just because I don't know, it's it's ridiculous. Like, they're so powerful the first time through. Like, this game is ridiculously hard the first time you play this. Uh, okay, let's... Prestasia. Little Heracles, same as usual. And hope that this fire addition to my weapon does damage. I could analyze him and figure out what he's weak against, but I'm just guessing at fire here. Yeah, see, it still does nothing. Absolutely no difference. Um, alright. Analyze. 50% sure. I'm probably gonna miss anyway. No, it worked. Alright. Right, my boy. What are you weak against? Yeah, he's weak against fire. And blunt. Fire and blunt. Okay, I would have never guessed blunt, but all right. Oh, how is I a little fast on that? Get out of here. Uh, is Vileskar as weapon? It is as weapon affinity, all right. Well, to be fair, I didn't. I haven't degenerated him yet. Let's see if this helps. Probably not. It's probably not going to do anything. I just I, I hate the first playthrough of this game because it's reliant so much on like this one thing. All right, does Vile Scar do anything now? Eh, twenty-five. I'll take it. And it's a hundred percent guaranteed right now, so I might as well. It would be interesting if I actually got the poison off. That would be... That would be pretty good. Uh, 
Yeah, I'm gonna leave my health at that, because I was scared he was gonna do avalanche again. Because I think it's once you cross a certain threshold. He's gonna he's gonna do avalanche to try and finish you. Alright. Uh let's wail on him. of his head. Does his head work? I mean, not really. Uh, I don't really know how it calculates the math for, like, when the, like, chain attacks land. I'm not really sure how it does the math for that. Is it, like, it can't be the same math as the, the original strike itself. to get this right, I think, or I'm going to die. Yay. Nope. Ho oh, ho, and I'm alive, baby. Let's go. Eh. Uh, uh. Hey. Got him. Raging Ink is the best move in this game. <laughs> so this is your, this is like, I could create a strategy guide for all the bosses in one move for Vagrant Story. This is how you beat the bosses in Vagrant Story. One, use break arts to hurt yourself. Even if it doesn't do any damage to the boss, use break arts to lower your own HP. Step two, use Raging Ache and just wail on them until they die. Job done. HP plus three, I'll take them. I'll take both of those as well. Oh, are we getting another? Getting another floaty platform. Fix. Not sure what they do though. I think I need to go to that one first because I think that like just. Uh, well, first things first. We're gonna bloody heal ourselves. Yeah. So I think we're gonna go with the opposite through Ifrit's room and then the opposite room to the to the crab room because I think the crab elevator takes us to like a hidden chest area. I think. I'm not sure. Like I said, it has been, it's been a little while since we've played through this game. Or since I played through this game, I should say. Uh, what's behind door number two? Is it something bad that I'm going to almost die from because I have 90 risk? No, it's a staircase. Where does this lead then? Where am I now? Oh, the Grand, Grand Cathedral first floor. All right, okay, okay. I don't think there's anything in here. I think there is, this is like a puzzle room, but I can only access it from the, oh. Okay. Oh, there's a storage chest in here. And a save point. Huh. Oh, well, I guess we'll call this an episode here, I guess. Before we go and like figure out what we're doing. Oh, actually, while I remember, so I am going to take that gem off. Uh, the smother. Take Salamander Ruby off. And then what gem was it that I had on? 
Dark Affinity, non-magical attacks. Increases the power of direct attacks. Increases just raw physical. But it does increase my equip damage. Like, if you see that at the side, it goes up from... I think it's just increasing raw physical damage. Yeah, which I don't want. Balance this on a shield. There we go. Hellraiser. And then we're light. Barely edged. Okay. And then I'm actually going to disassemble the rib splitter. Because I want that power palm. Okay. And then, yeah, we're going to leave this off here. So next time we pick this up, uh, I'll see you guys back here. So I'm Skinny19, and I hope you guys are having a great day. Bye.